Good morning everybody. I'm going to do a quick haul video today. I just want to show you some makeup that I bought from shirocosmetics.com. I use this company quite often um, because I, I'm always looking at like the new palettes that come out on YouTube and things like that and I always think I'll bet you any money that I can get the shades from Shiro that I want from the palette. Because there's lots of palettes that I see that I like, but there's like lots of shades that I see in them that I'm not going to use or I'm not going to like. So I always like to mix and match. So I always go to Shiro. These are like $3.75, I think, for these little jars. And I think in these you get a gram. And then I think in the full size you might get three or four grams. And I think the full size are like $6. She also does loose blushes. She does lip glosses. All kinds of stuff. You'll have to have a look on the website. I'll leave the link below. But they've been going for a long time and I've been buying makeup from them for ooh, a number of years. But um, they last so long that my orders are kind of few and far between, if you see what I mean, because I like to use them. Anyway, you always get a couple of samples. So I bought um, 11 shades and I got two samples, which are these two here. So I've got Pumpkin Patch and All Will Fall Before Me. And a lot of these collections are based on like um the game of thrones there's a collection called the legends collection there's harry potter um yeah lord of the rings the hobbit there's all sorts all kinds of stuff and the names of these are great and they really um she really thinks about the colors to match the names it's it's kind of weird but um i just get it i just get what she's doing and i really really like it so if you like your loose pigments that are really really strong and highly pigmented then try shiro they are amazing so i'm going to swatch some of these for you so you can see what they're like and i'll have to sort of move my i'm on my phone so i'll have to sort of move it around to the light properly so you can actually see the colors properly so the first one is a matte white now i use a matte white all all the time i use it on the brow bone every single day and i get through a lot of matte white shades so i tried one of hers so this is a small safe place in a troubling world and um, this one I'll just put it onto my wrist and then we'll go up the arm like a, like a real proper professional. <laughs> so just tap a little bit out. When I use these, I just um, usually put a bit into the lid and then use my like dip my brush in that way. So I'm going to swatch them and then move you each time so you can see the payoff of the colour. So this one is the matte white shade. So you can kind of, that's kind of picking it up, but... It's um, it's a strong one. It's really, really strong and also probably quite buildable. So if you want to sort of layer up your shades, you could do that. This one I can't pronounce. <laughs> I bought it because it's a shade that I really, really wanted because years ago I used to have this Dior palette and I'm not one to go around buying Dior because they're about 40 quid a palette for about five shades and I don't want to buy palettes like that anymore. But there used to be this shade in one of the palettes that I used years ago like this. So I bought this shade. If you can pronounce that, Leave in the comments how you pronounce it, because I've got no idea. <laughs> but this is a really nice, um, like a matte lilac, and it's quite a strong shade. So I'm just going to pop that on my wrist. Pop the lid back on. Let me just bring you up, if you can see. I'm putting it near the window so you can actually see in the light what these come out like. Excuse my voice, I've still got a bit of a cold left, so not feeling the best. Okay, next is a uh, colour I used this yesterday. There's no such thing as magic. I only got these the day before yesterday, so yesterday was the first day that I used my new ones. So this one I did like a colour, this I put in the crease. And then I used a darker shade on the outer V and blended it together with the white that I just showed you. So this is like a really nice dusky rosy pink shade. So let's just pop that there. Sorry, my swatching skills are just not the best, but it'll give you an idea. Just need a bit more. This is oh really nice. It really builds up um like really nicely on the crease. It's a really good colour. That's that one there. Sorry, I made a bit of a mess of that, but you can see it. What was that? Next is Coffee in a Can. 
this one really caught my eye on the website because it's like a latte and a really nice matte shade. Like lots of people have done hauls for this company on YouTube before and there's one I watched the other day and they were like, they were saying, oh, how there's like no matte shades, but there actually are. This is really matte. <laughs> All of these actually that I've done so far are matte. So things might have changed maybe since you bought, I don't know, but they definitely are matte and no shimmer. So that's coffee in a can and it's almost like a really like pale sort of beigey brown crease shade or transition shade so that's that one i know this isn't a soap making video but um i might do some more of these and maybe set up a new channel i don't know if you'd like to see more hauls and stuff i'd still buy soap and you know different products if you want to see more of this sort of thing then let me know whether i should put it on this channel or if i should bother creating a new one this is he who must not be named clearly it's named after Voldemort and this one is just a really good strong gray a matte gray so again like they are really matte shades <laughs> this one's lovely I mean the thing is the name's really cool to me so if you know somebody says oh, it's a really nice gray eyeshadow I probably wouldn't want it but because it's called he who must not be named and it kind of got that you know what I mean? It's got like that beautiful sort of mauvey, deep grey, dirty Harry Potter colour. <laughs> when everything's dark and dismal in the last uh, film, it kind of picks it up. It picks up that idea, you know? I think that's why I buy so much of these because, well, not so much of them, but I go back to them then because of that. It's sort of like it coincides with the movie and makes you sort of takes you somewhere else, which is, you know, everybody wants to escape these days. <laughs> okay. Next is Ringing of the Bell. This is a really good gold shade, which I um, got sucked in by on the website. So let's have a look at this. Yeah, it's really nice. This reminds me of a shade that Desi and Katie from, they've done a Dose of Colours collab again and there's a shade that's in their palette called Dirty Money, and that kind of reminds me of this. So that's that shade. A few more to go. Another sort of funny mustardy gold is this, a free elf. What does it say? Marauders, mug, mumps and muggles. Yeah, that's like the collection for Harry Potter. So if you like Harry Potter, I go and have a look. It, so it honestly, it's so it's so cool. So let me just uh, pop that on. This is really strong. It's like a really deep ochre, like a mustard shade. Oop, sun's gone funny. There you go. Really, really nice. So you could blend a lot of these together to create like deeper shades in the outer corner and, you know, blend them all through the crease and mix and match them together. They're, they're really good. They're really good to use. This one is, must have been like a um, collaboration maybe, but it really caught my eye on the website because it's a beautiful deep purple. This is Beautification to the Witch by Detrevor Cosmetics. So I can't remember what this was. I haven't like kept up to date, but I think she either did a collab or it was something else she'd done. Maybe it's a sideline, I'm not sure. There's a bit in the lid there, so I'll just uh, put my finger in. The light's gone a bit crap, so I'll just put this on my arm and I'll bring you up so you can see it properly. But this one is like a really strong purple with like a black, blackish grey. So very goth. There you go. I like that one. Then... Oh, this is one of my favourites. This is called Very Bad News. And it's this is the one I used yesterday with the uh, paler dusky pink. It's very nice. It's very nice indeed. It's a really good dark um, brown with like a red shimmer. Just want to make sure I've got plenty on there so we can get the depth of the shade because this is really nice. Comes out like a really deep dark brown on the on the eye. That one's there. Sorry about all this moving around, but um, 
It's all I can do because I'm not at work with my tripod and stuff. Anyway, next is Grow Home Douglas Your Trunk. And I absolutely love this colour. This is a really strong, um, like, green. It's just a really good khaki colour. And I love it so much. It's beautiful. You have a look at this. <laughs> look at that. Really... You can see I'm going down my arm. It's just absolutely stunning, that colour. I love, love, love that one so much. And then finally, Darling Dearest Dead. So what a name for an eyeshadow. It's just amazing. <laughs> right up my street. And this one's a really deep, dark, sort of mahogany, I guess. So let's pop that on the end. Swatch it. And then I'll bring you in again so you can have another look. So you'll you'll see how strong these are. It's just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Look at that. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. So that's all of them. So as you can see, I've got like a... If that was a palette, it would be really, really nice. <laughs> but yeah, I can mix and match all these shades. And there you go. I think they're absolutely great. So have a look on their website. And um, yeah, go to town. <laughs> And I will see you for the next soap making video and um, have a good day. Ta-ta.